Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Siemens Digitalise 2017. Finally, we really get an opportunity as Australia to, to put to bed that tyranny of distance speech of, of Blaney and the book of Blaney. We talk about the concepts of digital twins, we talk about concepts of simulation, we talk about no such thing as a prototype. With the digital world, of course, we can be connected to anywhere on the planet. That future world, of course, means that the way you sell and the way you behave with your business partners is different. Nobody quite knows when we do the data mining what's going to come out. What is our purpose? What is our priority? Are you digitalised? Because your organisation and those around you aren't going to get digitalised unless you think in a way that embraces that. We see Industry 4.0 as being an incredible opportunity. It's going to be a cross-functional challenge for organisations impacting their IT, their personnel, their HR, their operational activities. The question is, what job will you have when a robot takes your job? 67% of global energy production will be A, decentralised and B, renewables by 2030. How, as a business, do we deal with this and how does digitalization help us? Digitization and digitalization from an energy perspective will touch every part of the value chain, right from uh, understanding and characterizing all of our resources, right through to the way that the energy is consumed. What will happen to airports? What will happen to our property industry? What will happen to our food industry? What will happen to our hospitality industry? Major changes are on the horizon and we're right at the beginning of that. It'll be concepts like the digital enterprise and the digital twin, and new service models like performance-based contracting. We've got some remarkable results applying artificial intelligence into industry. It's a change of the processes, how we are designing, how we are building buildings, and later on how we are doing the operation of a building. Having trains crashing down on the track or just stopping on the track kind of limits all the other traffic, right? So we really want to ensure that the train is running and operation is going smooth because as soon as one train has problems, it delays all other trains. What a fantastic, fantastic conference uh, in terms of the work that Siemens is doing across our community. I think it's fair to say the community would be somewhat shocked at the degree of transformation that Siemens is bringing uh, right across our community, right across industry, uh, right across government. What we want to move, of course, from cynicism into innovation, an innovation attitude, the why not attitude. So I've had a lot of opportunity to see the way the, way the Germans tackle a problem. And the Industry 4.0 approach is not about technology, it's about the social readiness of transforming a German manufacturing capability into something that's going to be future Proofed.